and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hi everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And finally, the Madden Ghosts are here. Guys, I'm super excited for the Madden Ghosts at this exact moment because, as it appears, the promo's finally kicking into full gear. At least I hope. I mean, the out of positions aren't here yet, so we're not all the way there yet. But, usually, the Ghosts come a little bit later into the promo. Now, obviously, this promo came out really late this year, so it should be out already. I'm happy it is. But we are getting some of the Ghosts now. Guys, what I've been telling you guys for a while is that Ghost of Madden future cards typically give a lot of love to rookie premieres so expect a lot of your favorite rookie premieres to be getting massive upgrades i'm not exaggerating they actually gave like three upgrades to rookie premieres at least i think i know there's two guaranteed i know we have two i'm gonna go to my binder i believe they're already upgraded but guys that is always the cool thing goes to future like last year they upgraded like four or five rookie premieres they usually do do that which is great because a lot of them are good cards too because ghost of future is like 93 overall so you guys might get a few 93 overalls on your team, which is really awesome. Obviously, you can't put Sprinter or Shaker or any of that stuff on them, but they're still really awesome cards. They're going to fill voids, and I probably actually end up starting two of them, more than likely, based on what they're able to do, because they are really, really good cards. Now, guys, before we go into the video, remember, it is the 25 days of Poodmas. All you do to enter the, video, the giveaway is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your console, and the secret word here throughout the video. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck with that. Now, let's head over. So, going over to the right to my team. I do, I do, I believe I have two rig premieres. I believe I do. Let's go check out if they've been upgraded already going over. And they have Devin Bush is a 94 overall now. That is huge. He's, he's really 93, but with LD on him, which is locked down, he is a 94 overall. Wow. This card is really, really good. Let's compare him. I think I'm going to get rid of Ray Lewis for him, quite honestly. So he's faster than Ray Lewis. He has better excel, worse strength, same tackle, similar play rec, worse block shit, better hit power, better zone. I think I have to get rid of Ray Lewis. Because now I can use her, him or Shazier. The issue with Ray Lewis, I didn't really like using Ray Lewis. But I had to use him because I couldn't leave Ray Lewis out in the zone alone. Because his zone coverage isn't good enough to be left alone. <clears throat> Devin Bush can hit harder. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. He's faster. Better excel. Let's see what his jumping is. That's kind of important too. His jumping, his jumping. 94 jumping? Ray Lewis, your ass is so gone. Ray Lewis is gone. I hate to do it, but Ray Lewis has got to go. Because I'm going to be able to save a lot of coins here. Now, what can I... Can I put anything on... Sh if I could put anything on Bush, that'd be even better. I don't think he can get Shaker, though. Yeah, he cannot. Can He can get abilities, though. What can you put on? Uh, he's not really worth it, because you're going to waste a whole ability slot on him. But the point is, is that you could still put some pretty good stuff on him. Let's get Lockdown times 3 on him. This card is going to be really, really good. I'm going to replace Ray Lewis with him. Very simply. It, it just makes the most sense, right? I do believe I do I lose one overall slot with him. Ray Lewis is a 95, but at the end of the day, it's definitely worth it. He's better than Ray Lewis. He's way faster. I need that speed. Him and Shazier are going to be a deadly duo. And now we also got Chris Lindstrom. He's one of the other ones that we did get. I do have my Lindstrom. Now let's see what his stats are looking like. 89 strength, 93 awareness, 87 pass block, 89 pass block power, 87 pass block finesse, 89 run block, 90 run block power, 86 run block finesse. Let's compare it to my Bruce Matthews. His card's looking pretty. Oh my, I have a David DeCasher actually. I thought he was a left guard. I'm dumb. Worst strength, worst run block, worst pass block, worst pass block power, worst pass block finesse, worst run block, same run block power, similar run, oh, worst run block finesse. Yeah, the Chris Lindstrom card's kind of ass. No above 90 stats except for one, and even even and you can't power him up obviously, so chemed up and everything, he's still not going to be that great. Well, I guess I won't be replacing Lindstrom with anyone. I was kind of excited for that. I have a Lane Johnson just sitting here. Oh, that's my lane. I thought I had an extra Lane Johnson. All right, guys, that's about it for that. Now, let's go check out the ghost cards. All right, guys, so all the ghosts are up, and we actually do have an LTD card. We have quite a few things. I just watched the stream, guys. Pretty good stuff. I'll get to the LTD in a little bit, but let's cover the initial cards first because there's plenty of ghosts to go over, guys. They dropped some really good stuff today. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, some really, really good stuff. I wasn't expecting this for the Ghost of Future, man. If Ghost of Future is this good, things are going to be great. Now, Devin Bush, guys. 91 speed, 92 excel, 74 strength, 91 tackle, 89 play rec. I hate you. 78 block shed, 94 hit power, and 84 zone coverage. Guys, this card is an animal. He's one of the hardest hitters, the fastest linebacker, great zone, great play rec, great excel, and he's like a 94 jumping. Come on. I'm going to go over here. All right, and he's six. I think he's 5'11", and he has insane card art. Guys, this card is a monster. I highly recommend you get this card. Obviously, he can't be powered up. I think he's better than Ray Lewis. I'll be selling my Ray Lewis pretty shortly. But considering the price of this, I think Ray Lewis might be pretty cheap. So I really don't know what I'll be doing. Maybe I'll keep all of them. But Devin Bush is definitely getting a start. Then we got Chris Lindstrom. Card art for him. Like I said, I already went over his stats before, guys. 
this card's kind of ass like it's good but not david DeCastro is better and he's way cheaper obviously lynchum's a better overall so i'll probably still toss him as a backup and throw some chems on him which will definitely help my team out but not the best card if he could be powered up he'd be a lot better but he cannot obviously let's see what his impact in his, in his uh lead block is because that could make a big difference i mean it won't help his blocking that much better but 93 impact blocks really good is his lead block like crazy good lead block is 96 okay that's what i figured this card's pretty it's decent it's not i just think compared to my decash i'd rather have him now next is brian burns now this brian burns cards is actually really really good he's 88 speed 91 excel line him up the opposite side of lawrence taylor you're gonna have a crazy speed duo 76 strength 85 tackle 91 play rack 80 block shed 68 power move 91 finesse move he's a great pass he's an insane pass rusher a decent run stuff that's the only issue with him is his run stuff now if his secret word is ghost comment down below the word ghost like the video subscribe to the channel and comment your comments once you do this and you're to win good luck Dome was good guys he's gonna be one of the best outside linebackers in the game he's six foot five really really good card I'm gonna be honest this is a great great card great user card probably too 88 speed 91 excel with 80 blocks and 91 finesse you just need a pure pass rush on the other side not a bad card at all i think i saw von miller compared to von miller he is a better pass rusher well he has a, out of power and finesse he has a really good finesse the block is not great the play rack similar tackles less this von miller card still really really good but brian burns has the speed and he has the he has he has the height i don't think it's worth the upgrade for me i'd rather get a whole new left time back entirely i don't want any more pass rushers i want like a zone guy so i'm still waiting for that but still really good then we got the ghost of future i'm gonna call the ghost of future master terry mclaurin now he does have a set i'll show you guys that in a second but terry mclaurin ghost of madden future 94 overall guys this is one of the best wide receivers in madden six feet tall 95 speed 90 jumping insane 93 catching 92 catch traffic 94 spec catch 91 short route running 91 medium route running 88 deep route running you toss go deep on this guy he's going to have everything above 90 he's gonna have a 91 deep route running like a 97 spec catch guys this card is crazy good and he has i believe an 88 juke move and like an 84 spin if i stand corrected 84 spin 88 juke 88 juke this card's crazy good compare this to my tyree kill and he kicks his ass in every single stat besides deep route running way better route running all around can do a lot more things guys honestly i think it's time we get off the tyree kill train i said every card's fast enough now i think it's all about preference now tyree kill is no longer that great it's sad but it, we're at that point of madden already the only thing that tyree kill has is that he can be powered up which mclaurin cannot be which does limit his abilities as a player in general for the madden but guys, it's just like last year when Tyreek Kill was so overpowered, we all wanted him. Until we got to like 95 speed. With Sprinter and Shaker, every car can now can get like high 90s anyways. So I don't think Tyreek Kill is that special anymore. I think I'm going to be making a big switch to him. I'm going to sell Irvin and Tyreek Kill probably. No, maybe I'll keep Tyreek. I'll sell Irvin though because there's going to be the NFL 100 soon. We got Terry McLaurin. This card's an animal. He has the cat. Look, look, look at him. Compare him to anyone. Compare him to my Tory Holt. And he is right there with him on every step. Of course, he's going to lag now. Torrey Holt, he's, he's one of the best wide receivers in the game. He can be powered even better. He blows away Torrey Holt. He's faster. He can jump more. Catching similar. Route running is very similar. Not as great route runner, but way better catcher. Way better spec catch. Way better speed. Way better jump. Well, not way better jump, but he's the same height. And that's Torrey, and that's Torrey Holt. There's like a 97 on my team chemmed up. But guys, that's not even it. Let's go over to the set, show you guys the new set they dropped. And then we have an LTD card, which I'm going to get to too. Actually, let me show you the LTD card first. All right, guys, so as you guys see here, Richard Sherman, 95 overall LTD. That's crazy, guys. They dropped a, a banger. Richard Sherman's a big name. Obviously, we all know his speed's not going to be great. That's a per, that's pretty usual, but he can be powered up and chemmed up, so this card's going to be really good. He's probably going to be one of the better cornerbacks in Madden right now. He's six foot three, Guys, that's the one thing with Richard Sherman's speed. His height always makes up for a lot of things he can't do, and it's jumping. He has 89 speed, 89 excel, but he has the reach. He has longer arms, he's taller, and he can jump. So... 89 excel 95 agility 97 jumping 97 play rec 92 man coverage 97 zone coverage 96 press guys his stats are really really good compared to that train lane blows him away everywhere but speed Deion sanders blows him away everywhere but man and speed and athleticism as per usual and then denzel ward blows him away everywhere but speed now personal recommendation he's more of a night train lane type guy he's taller if you power up and come up richard sherman all the way right He'll have 99 zone, 99 press, 95 man, 99 play rec, 99 jumping, 97 agility. You put shaker and everything on him, you could probably get his speed and agility. It's like a 91, 92. That's not bad. On a 49ers team team, he's going to be one of the best cards in the game. Now, guys, that is about it for Sherman. 
not much else showing him see if he has block shot anything else that i should know about before his awareness is really high too his awareness is 97 guys this card is really good let's see if he has any kind of blocks no block shed really decent pursuit but that's about it for that so let me show you guys a second get on get on out of this video because there's that's crazy there's also some solos too which i'll actually show you real quick too come on madden zero chill they added another sequence which is a mutt miss carol nothing too great here i don't believe i believe the rewards are just the same as before just it helps you get your stars up so your gingerbread man potential still goes up similar thing nothing too important there now let's head over to the set real quick to cover that now with the set it is looking like a typical master looking set zero chill the ghost of madden future set now ghost of madden future terry mclaurin pretty much to get him you put in lynch brian burns and bush right now the set costs like 750k mclaurin sells for like 450 500 so it's not a bad deal if you want to just get them done and get all three for free but i per, i currently have lindstrom and devin bush as rick premieres so i do not really need them for free but still a great deal if you guys want all those cards make sure to look out for that if you guys want to get that done now, that is it for the video i hope i covered everything for you guys i will be trying to get this out as quickly as possible so i'm gonna close out this video thank you guys for watching make sure to enter the 25 days of improvements subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below your console and the secret world you do all the things you're interested to win good luck see you guys in the next video peace